hey, what is a dust separator and why is it going to help you in your shop? Why should you get one? We're going to go over all that today. So let's get going. First thing I need to do is have a dust separator so I can show you what it does. Today I have this Dust Deputy Low Pro from Oneida. The exciting thing about it is it just got into Lowe's store. So just you can go to the store and get one. I'm going to go ahead and put this together. It's pretty easy. It comes with the top. It comes with some seals you have to put on. There's a rubber seal that goes underneath. You just make it go around until it overlaps a little bit. Cut off the excess and squish it down. And then you have these latches that you put on there. Super easy. And then this thing I put up here is just for static electricity. And that's for if you uh, put it somewhere and then you can attach that, ground it to a wall or something. But I put it on there. I really don't ever use it. I've never been shocked, but that doesn't mean don't do it. Go ahead and follow all the directions they put in here. And then lastly, you're going to sit this on here. I picked up a bucket from Lowe's while I was there. And these latches go on the bucket pretty positively. It's like a, it's a pretty good fit. So go ahead and make sure that this is on there. You hear that pop? There you go. You hear it pop. If it leaks, it's not going to, it's going to just let the dirt go straight to your vacuum. So I'm thinking that's good. This is a rigid 10 gallon, six horsepower shop vac. We're going to go ahead and I'm going to test the airflow through here and then we're going to put a hose on it and see how much we lose just with the hose just to show that anything you put on these things you're going to lose a little bit of airflow and then we're going to see what we get right right out of here after that It's about 195 if I saw it right. Now let's put a hose in here. Forty two is about it, I guess. You can see I went straight just to the top of this, no ninety or anything, so let's see what we get from right here. So you can see that this actually lost less CFM than, than just the hose did. So uh, that's pretty cool. The real test is going to be picking up dirt with it because most of us just, we're just weekend warriors or whatever. We just want to come and we want to pick up dust. We don't care about what the numbers are and all that kind of stuff. We just want to pick up dust. And it just so happens that I just clean my shop. So here's a bucket full of dirt. Dirty. And that has all kinds of stuff in there. There's th stuff from the table saw. There's stuff just from sweeping. There's sanding dust. There's all kinds of stuff in here. So let's get this set up so we can suck it up with the vacuum. <laughs> So let's go ahead I'm going to take this apart and we'll see how much went into each one. We'll do this first. I'm expecting everything to be in here. And this we can just hope that nothing went in there.
Very clean. Super clean. See how shiny that is in there? What I'm going to do now is just for fun, see what we get now after we've already sucked up a lot of stuff in here. This had resin and, and fine dust. It had all kinds of pretty gnarly pile of uh, dirt there. So I'm going to test it again right here and see if we've lost any suction at all. And I've never done this before, so I'm kind of curious myself. <laughs> So that tells me virtually that some of some fine dust is going to get through to your filter. But that tells me that after that, we haven't lost any airflow at all. If, if any, it's negligible. But the real test is when you have it hooked up to something for a long period of time. I've had my bandsaws over here hooked up for five months now. And we can go and check, check what's in the shop back. And it's the same shop back as this. And we're going to check out what's in the shop back and what the airflow is. Let me explain the dust collection on my bandsaw real quick. I have two bandsaws and they run off of blast gates. There's the, the low pro right there and right around here is the vacuum. This thing works phenomenal and you can see how much dirt's in there and the different stuff I picked up. So let's check the vac. Let me check this while the dog's neighbor's barking. The dog's neighbor. Let me check this while the neighbor's dog is barking. Hopefully you can see that a little bit of fine dust is going to get through. This is five months of stabilized wood and resin. Okay, this is ran from a remote that uh, I put, I attached to the saw. So let's start this up and see what we got. The bandsaw results are pretty awesome. It's been there for five months. I made that a long, uh, five months ago and put that, that system on it. And it's done stabilized wood. And if you don't know about stabilized wood, when you stabilize it, whenever you cut it, it's dust. It's not chips anymore. It's just going to be a uh, fine, fine dust. So that's it, all this went through that is stabilized wood or resin. And the resin is hard to pick up tool. Half of the pile that we picked up with this one right here was resin and pretty nasty stuff to pick up. So I'm pretty impressed with all that. And the only knock that I really had on Anada in the past is that you couldn't go to the store and get it. But now with this, you go straight to Lowe's and get it. Of course, I'll have some links below that you can go there and just click and buy it. But you can just go to the store and get one. You have everything you need to start. That right there just shows you how much you're gonna save in filters and cleaning filters. I lost five or six uh, CFM, but I could take that, go, go outside, blow it off with the air hose and you're gonna get it right back. Instead of it being totally clogged and totally ruined, you have to stop in the middle of a, a project to clean your filter is, uh, I don't know about you, but that's a pain for me. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you wanna see how I did this setup on the bandsaws, go over here and check out that video. I'll see you over there. And until next time, we'll see you.